Saint Valentine. Who was Saint Valentine? Because every February the 14th we celebrate Valentine's Day or Saint Valentine's Day. Saint Valentine, I'm sorry to share this news, but he was removed from the, the calendar of the church in 1969. Any of us alive in 1969? 1969, they took Valentine out of the calendar. Why? Because there wasn't enough historical information about this saint. Have you heard of other saints who've been removed from the calendar? Saint Christopher? Sorry, Saint Christopher. Saint Christopher is no longer considered a saint. Catherine of Alexandria? No longer a saint. Saint Barbara, there are different saints who used to be saints, but because we're not sure that they existed, they're no longer included in the church's calendar. So Saint Valentine is one of them. It seems that Saint Valentine is composed of various saints, or people who lived back then. There was a priest in Rome named Valentine. There was a martyr in North Africa named Valentine. So it seems that these legends sort of were brought together into this one person today that we know of as Valentine. It's a nice name, Valentine, because Valentine comes from the Latin word valens, which means powerful or strong or worthy. So he was seen as a worthy saint, valiente, we say in Spanish. According to the stories that are told, this Valentine, Saint Valentine, was a priest or a bishop who defied the emperor's orders. The emperor said that no young men were to be married in the empire. Why? Because he needed soldiers. So he had a law that if you were married, you didn't have to go off to war and become a soldier. But he needed soldiers. So what did Valentine do? According to the story, Valentine married young couples in secret so they could come back and say, oh, but I'm married, I can't go into the army. And so St. Valentine, for that reason, is known as the patron saint of lovers. But this whole tradition of being my Valentine, where did that come from? According to the story, when he was in jail, the jailer's daughter was blind, and so he gave sight to the blind daughter of the jailer, and on the day in which he was beheaded, he wrote a note to her and signed it, Your Valentine. Oh. <laughs> we used to believe that Valentine's Day was an attempt to supersede Lupercalia, a mid-February feast in Rome. Scholars no longer believe that. Instead, they think that all of this, this hype around Valentine's Day came from the 14th century by people like Geoffrey, Geoffrey Chaucer, who wrote about this, these ideas of romantic love and included St. Valentine in it, so he became a sort of patron saint of love. St. Valentine is the patron saint of love, the patron saint of fiancés, the patron saint of happy marriages. If you want a happy marriage, now you know who to pray for, to pray to. The patron saint of beekeepers, of the plague, of epilepsy, and the patron saint against fainting. So that's a bit about St. Valentine.